Hi, it's me again. <clears throat> Third one. Um, this is the last of these uh, images or pictures that I'm doing from our Disney trip of Charlie. And the photo, the photo prop was Princess Cinderella. However, it's from Shrek. So it really was Shrek's, um, whatever, oh, I can't think of what her name is. That's a shock. But anyway, it was her um, and then Charlie's face on it. And the paper I'm using is from a Disney stack pack that I have that's a Cinderella. Um, I got picked these colors because they went with my, my photo. However, I'm not going to be using any of this down here of the Disney Princess. These are the stack packs that I've talked about in the past that are real thin and I really don't like them. So I don't use them without a whole bunch of layers to make it nice and thick. Um, what I did is I just had a whole bunch of scraps of um, glitter paper that I'm going to use to cover up what I don't want on this Oh, and I don't think I wanted this one on first. I think, let me see here. I wanted to put, let me see how do I want to do this. I want this one turned like that. I'm going to put this. On crooked. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that one on crooked. There we go. Now let me put the tape. I did this. I, I didn't know where I wanted that. I'm going to stick this little thing under there so it doesn't stick to my paper. And there my tape is stuck to my picture. Maybe I should stop for tonight. Maybe I should call it quits because I'm starting to get um, messy. I'm starting to get messy, guys. That means I probably need to call it quits. There we go. Um, I did do a, por a border punch again um, out of the Martha Stewart uh, border. Uh, it's just a scallop. Probably can't see it very well. But then I did a border punch again, all Martha Stewart border punches of this scallop. And then this one's just a little squiggly thing on it. I just did a whole bunch of border punches. And um, these, again, these are all just scraps of glitter paper I have that I don't like to let anything go to waste. And so when I'm scrapbooking, I try and go through my stash of things that I never use. And scraps, I don't, the, uh, particularly uh, the glitter scraps. I really don't like to throw away because that glitter paper is so expensive. And the same thing with these. These are pre-packed um, chipboard glitter letters. I hate buying letters because they're such an incredible waste. Um, some of you might not agree, but there's so many letters that you never use. And then you get down to... That's one, one of the reasons that when I first got my very first Cricut, I remember when I went to Michael's and... Good thing the owner of Michael's or the manager of Michael's at that time did not hear what the saleswoman said to me when I'd asked her about the Cricut machine. It had just come out and she said it was a money pit because she had to buy these images and she went on and on and on just absolutely bashing the machine <laughs> and she worked there. I thought that was kind of strange. But she was right, because you have to buy the cartridges, or you used to have to until they came out with a new machine. You had to buy the Cricut cartridges. and But I went and got the machine because they had a coupon for 50% off. And at the time, they had forgot to print the coupons to say with exclusion. And the exclusion was like the, the um, Cricut machine. So I got the very first one at 50% off, and it was worth it. And at the time, the silhouette was not out yet, and I used the Cricut and loved it. But I really wanted it was because I could cut anything out that I wanted in different sizes. But I did find that after only 250 cartridges that I didn't use, it, and not even 1% of what I had did I use. 
Um, but every time one came out, I did the crooked dog on it. Every time one came out, I had to have it. And so I ended up owning all of them. And some of them I never used once, never used them. But once I started using the silhouette, I sold everything. And where I was going with that is that I wanted it because then I could cut out letters because I got so sick and tired of buying alphabets of letters and never being able to use half of them. I've got a drawer full of them that are sheets such as these glitter ones that are all letters that probably will never get used. There's a ton of them that will never get used, but I'm going to show you what I do to make use of the ones that I can. This was a little bit not even on the bottom here, but I'm going to cover it with a cut, die cut so I don't get um, I don't have the letter R that I need for Charlotte Rose, also known as Charlie, my granddaughter. This is her. Her full name is Charlotte Rose. And I want to do her monogram here, but I don't have an R. So I took a letter P and the tail of a, an N that I think I think was an N. I don't even know what it was from. Yeah, I'd cut it off a different piece. And I'm going to make that into an R. So, this has sticky back on it. And I have no idea if it is going to stick. Now I'm putting the P on first. Because as you know, if I put it over here, well, I can go on to why. I start it like that. There was a reason, but don't think it really matters. I have a reason. And I cut that off so that I could make use of that. Those letters that I'll never use. I know I will never use them. This is the only thing I really don't like about the glitter papers. They're so hard to stick to them. And then, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Well, well, well. Grab one of my little picks here. And try and get the paper back off so I can stick it. There we go. And I'm going to put that right here and roll it out. What I'll do with these, because some of these glues, and it's just like the ATG tape, that if you put a heavy weight on it and leave it like overnight, it almost like it dissolves or it does something that it adheres and stays on a lot better once a heavy weight is sat on it. Uh, like I leave it overnight and I'll put it under a bunch of uh, stack packs of uh, paper and then I'll go to look for it or forget that I have it there. And one day we'll run across it and forget that I see it doesn't stick for beans. Somebody I'm sure that has a better way of sticking it here. I think I might have to stick this down with my tomboy. Ugh. These are not going to stick. I can just see it. Even with the heavy weight on them grab some tweezers here and put that down there yeah this is not going to stick I'm going to put a heavy weight on it anyway with the glue does anybody watching know of a glue that is really good for gluing glitter papers or tape that they know. I know tacky tape will tape anything. However, for scrapbooking, tap, tacky tape is very, very, very expensive. And I don't think I would want to get in the habit of using that. And not only that, it would be really hard to get around letters and things with, with that tacky tape. But I do find that the ATG just it doesn't cut it. It does not stick to it. So, and 
doesn't look like my tomboy is going to stick either. And I know it's Tom Bow, but humor me. I like Tomboy. It's easier to say and it's easier to remember. So, Tomboy it is. See, I roll it out and I move it. Glad I'm doing that on camera. And who was it that was getting a kick? Daisy, I think it was. I think it was Daisy. Was getting a kick out of watching me fight with the the uh, Accent Essentials, my, this stuff, the other day on one of my videos, because I will fight, but I, I fight with it and to the bitter end, but I will not quit. That piece that stuck off, I think I forgot to mention, I was cutting that off. Then I want to go across here with something. What do I want to put across here? Oh, I know what I want to put on. I want to put on some of these little glitter flowers that again I have absolutely no use for so I'm just going to stick some on my page. They will stick on this paper they just won't stick on other glitter paper and I'm really hoping that they're going to stick with that glue because now I've got glue all over it and I'll stick another one up here and do I have any more in here? Oh, there's another one. There's another one. This one, I'm going to leave the center in. Nope, I'm not. You know what I'm going to do? I just have the center. I'm going to take that center out. And I just had a novel idea. What I'm going to do? What I'm going to do is I am going to stick a gem in the middle there. Where that is. What color do I want? What color do I have handy? <coughs> I don't have anything handy anymore because I have too much of everything. It's just ridiculous. I'm going to have to start cleaning this stuff out and getting rid of some. I've just got way, 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 way too much. These are too big. Then it's hard to pick what I want to do because I've got too many. But that's blue. I don't want blue. I want purple. Do I want purple? Or do I want hot pink? I'm going to go with hot pink. There we go. Oh, yes, it would open it correctly and not upside down. It would open a lot easier. And I'm going to put a dab of glue in there, in that little hole. Come on. Oh, I have the worst time with things. Oh, getting clogged. Look at that. Oh, man. Good thing, whatever I think. I have enough sense not to say out loud. Oh, that ticks me off. First it doesn't come, come out, and then it comes out in a bucket full. Good thing these pages are for my kids. Because then you might hear what I'm thinking. Get mad enough, you might hear some things that come, would come out of my mouth that wouldn't be very pleasant. I don't want to do that. Don't want to resort to that. Now, if I can find a color that I want. Here we go. Here's one. And it doesn't fit in that hole. A hammer will make it fit. Get in there, you booger. I'll find out if it stays in there. You'll see little blurp signs all over here. It'll stay in there if I can catch it. It's like catching a cloth on Harry Potter. I'm back at watching Harry Potter again. Once upon a time, between I, I go between the two of them. You know, it was so funny. I've, I've watched Once Upon a Time a hundred times from beginning to end 
or I had it play, I have it in here playing probably a hundred times. However, the other night I was actually paying attention and I could not believe how much, as many times as I've watched that series, how much I'd never seen. It was like for, seeing it for the first time. I thought it was kind of humorous considering I've watched it so much. It's got horrible ratings though, so it uh, makes me think that I have zero taste in television because I love it. But it has not got good ratings at all. At least not on YouTube. Not YouTube, ah, uh, Netflix. Netflix it is very low rated. And I love it. Okay, then I'm going to take uh, Fiona. I remembered her name. Fiona. That's her name. Let me take Fiona and Shrek and pop that them. Got Charlie a makeup kit for Christmas. A suitcase full of makeup, of course, for a little girl. She's only, well, she's going to be four next week. Can't believe it. How fast the time goes. But anyway, I think four now. And got her. She, is, she has to wear a princess out or a foo foo dress every day. Uh, loves to dress up and loves to wear princess shoes. And I found her a pair of Anna boots, and they're black with the gold glittery design uh, on the floor, going up the front of the boot and up the back. And I saw them, and I said, "Oh my gosh, Charlie would absolutely love these." So I took, I bought them, and then I took a picture and sent it to my daughter. And I said, "Oh, got these for Charlie." And my daughter said to me, "Those are, uh, what did she call them?" Um, something equating to hideous. Those are the most hideous boots. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe you just said that. Charlie's going to absolutely love them. She said, I know, that's why I'm saying that, because Charlie's never going to take them off. And sure enough, she won't take them off. She wears them with her pajamas. She wears a formal day with Christmas yesterday and barely will take them off to take a bath. And when she takes a bath, she puts them right back on. She absolutely loves them, but she got that and a makeup kit and so this morning she was playing makeup and putting putting eyeshadow on her eye uh, and putting more and more and more on when well, my daughter got out the video camera to film it because she was only doing it on one eye my daughter's trying to tell her do the other eye I'm taking a little bit of bling and adding it right here to the bottom of the yellow here anyway she's telling her put some on the other eye and videotaping it and she said, Charlie, do you want to see how you look? And Charlie's like, yeah. So my daughter gets a camera out and shows her and she looks at herself in the mirror and just smiles from ear to ear and she's like, oh, man, do I look awesome. It was just hilarious because she used the entire kit and she'd only done one eye, yet, one eye. Used up all the makeup. But it, I put the video on YouTube, or on my Facebook, um, to see the, exp the expression on her face was just priceless when she saw herself in the mirror because she thought, oh, do I look hot. Um, and she used the whole entire thing. My daughter said it's gone. And she only did one eye. Love, love, love this age. So flippin' cute. It was just absolutely priceless. Just thought I'd share that with you. Just thought I'd share that. And I ran out of the single strands of my gems, so I grabbed a double row, like a ribbon of the gem and cut it down the middle. And I thought I took the paper off, but apparently I didn't peel it all the way is what I'm guessing and I'm going to put it down along the bottom over here. I'm going to try anyway. Charlie opened her nightgowns and we've gotten her three like Cinderella, um, Belle, can't remember what the third one was and Charlie opened them all up well because 
the nightgowns that you get are a whole lot less expensive than buying these these outfits, these Disney outfits, because they're, they're just ungodly expensive. So we got her the nightgowns instead. <laughs> but I didn't even think to get Belle, Isabel one. And so they're opening all the presents. Isabel's two, just two. And she saw Charlie with these gowns on and Isabel had a meltdown because she wanted one. Char Charlie did allow her to wear one of hers. I'm not real sure if she got it off of her last night before we left their house, but she did share and let her wear one of hers. But I didn't even think to get Isabel one. I didn't think that she would even think anything of it, but uh, was I wrong? She wanted to know where hers was. Gotta, you gotta remember to get, when you got little girls, all of a sudden they want what the, whoever sat next to them got. And Will got everything that flies, or his remote control, I should say, remote control car. He got a dr drone from one of his uncles, and he got a, a airplane and another four-wheeler, all this remote control. So he spent the whole day rotating chargers because he'd run one dead, and then he'd have to go and charge it and grab a different one. Um, it was so cute because everything he had had to be charged. And he, he got the, this this coolest thing that got, um, it's in a big round wheel and it's a plane or a car or something inside the wheel, but the wheel will crawl up the wall and on the ceilings and everything. He's only four, so it's going to take him a while to master it. But he didn't care if he mastered it or not. That thing hit the ground more more than I could count. I don't know how long it's going to last him. The fact that it kept hitting the ground, but. I do know that one car did end up breaking by the end of the day, and I heard my son-in-law said, they're, well, they're having fun. I said, well, that's true, they're having fun, so we just watched them break things. And one came broken. I guess it wouldn't be Christmas either if you didn't, if some of the kids, grandkids didn't open up a present, or even my kids when they were growing up. Um, either something didn't fit, something didn't work, something was missing pieces. It was always something. And things have not changed from when my kids were little because it was that. My daughter called her this morning. She said, oh, she's out doing returns. I asked her if she was nuts to do that today. Was it that important that they get so much stuff? Because the family, my family's so big, and everybody spoils the kids so bad. So now what I'm going to do is turn around, and my stuff that I have here, I'm going through and donating it all. So I've got things that have never been used. So I'm going to be loading up car loads and go donating them to church and rotate the stash of things that they have and don't ever touch. But they think, you, can't, you have to do that kind of thing when they're not looking because if they see it, you better believe you're taking out something that they, oh, I'd been looking for that. I didn't know where that was. I, I've been looking for it as you take it out to the car. So you have to make sure you do that kind of stuff when the kids aren't looking. There we go. And there is another page. And now I'm going to be starting on my layouts of Isabel's baby pictures. I don't know how much I'll be filming of that. I wanted to get through these three. And you may call that a night. We'll see. You might see me again. Have a good one.